Hey, this is Lexi from Mini Trees. Uh, Run for Cover gave me 50 bucks, so uh, we're gonna go into Marukai and get some Japanese snacks. All right, let's check it out. Yeah, I actually haven't been to this location before, so I'm kind of captivated by this. So these are like Japanese Pringles, um, which I'm a sucker for. This art in particular is really cool. This is a soy sauce flavor. So like something that's kind of fun about getting like Japanese snack versions of stuff is you can just get flavors that you'll never find anywhere else. But I'm kind of basic, so I kind of just want to get like mild salt. <laughs> Ooh, they have like a chocolate covered one. This I don't totally know. This is like very famous in my family. Um, it, they're also like little like cracker things with peanuts in them. For some reason, my grandma always has these on hand. I don't really know what it is about that one in particular, but she really likes it. So those are around a lot. These are kind of cool because they're like French fries, little tiny French fries. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get this one. I actually don't know this flavor, but I want to try that one. Okay, so I've never had this, but this looks really interesting to me because um, they're like little puffy versions of um, onigiri, which is like rice balls, which I'm obsessed with. Um, so I have to try this. Yeah. I'm half Japanese and half Cuban, and I don't speak either language. It's like really sad. I, I really should have learned and still can. So, something to do with. Ooh, there's drinks over there. There probably will be like other snacks, but we'll just like stumble upon those. But we can go to drinks next. I was hoping to find this. This is ramune. It is like a soda. I want to say it kind of tastes like bubble gum. But that's sort of like not doing it justice because bubblegum is kind of a gross flavor usually. There's like a, a marble inside of it and you use the like plastic lid to like push the marble through. So we'll open that later. I used to always drink these as a kid. I like never really drink soda anymore, but because of the nostalgia factor, I'm gonna pick this up today. Man, everything is so cute. Like, look at this. Look how cute this is. Everything's got a cute little face on it. They, they won me over with the branding. Um, these look fun. I don't think I could commit to drinking that much grape juice, though. But this is fun. <laughs> Actually, what is this? Whoa. What if I just blew the, all $50 on like a really nice bottle of Hello Kitty sweet wine? I think maybe it's like a rosé. I'm a big fan of whiskey, personally. I'm still trying to get into like the Japanese stuff. I do know Centauri whiskey is great. Um, you know, maybe one day I can really be a baller and like get one of these fancy ones. But for now, stick to the, well, not wild turkey, but bottom shelf generally is where I shop for my whiskey. Oh, this is cool too. Hello Kitty Sake. That's really cute. It's only 13 bucks. Do it. Am I allowed to buy alcohol? You can buy whatever you want. Okay, I'm getting this. This is very cute. Another thing that I kind of really love about Japanese markets is they have um, the most delicious and perfect looking sliced white bread you've ever seen in your life. I also love that they're like, we know that this is probably kind of bad for you, so you can only have six slices at a time. Put a little like butter and jam on it and it like toasts super well. Uh, I'm a big fan. I've actually never had any kind of like Japanese cereal, but this is like, these look like Cocoa Puffs, so they have to be good, I would think. This is interesting. It looks like, oh, it's a granola, and it has like edamame in it. Wouldn't think to throw that in my breakfast cereal, but it's probably good, you know? I would trust it. Yeah, see, this is fantastic. Like, don't just go to CVS and get like your average nose pore strips. Get the like bare ones. His name's Relakuma. I forget, I think it means like relaxed bear or something like that, but he's one of my favorite little like Japanese characters. He's so cute. <laughs> Psyduck. Or Kodak? Yeah, see, we have like Mew hand cream. It's so cool. Um, this is only nine bucks. I might buy this. Okay, cool. What is it? Uh, it's a plushy sleep mask. But it's so cute. Like, imagine seeing me on a flight rocking this thing. I think I need it. Um, okay, I think like maybe you can do candies. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, this is the aisle. This is the candy aisle. Yeah, see, this is kind of a fun thing. You can like build your own candies. I think it's a chocolate bonsai tree. Whoa. I think I might need to get this too. 
I get the question a lot if mini trees is like a reference to bonsai trees. And it's not directly, but I think I like the idea of, of it being like a little nod to bonsai trees. I think I'm gonna pick this up. And we can check it out and do a little taste test, see if it's any good. I love matcha flavored stuff, so I'm gonna pick this one up. It's a matcha flavored Hello Panda. Very athletic pandas on there. Um, for those who are familiar with Pocky Sticks, there are tons of flavors you probably haven't seen before. So, matcha, again, one of my faves. Um, there's chocolate banana, which is really fun. Um, this is like an almond, chunky almond one. That, that looks really good. Did you pick this one up? That one looks really good. Chunk, or crunchy strawberry and chocolate mint also looks super good, but I think I'm gonna get this one today. Um, I don't know if there's Kit Kats around, but they usually have some cool flavors for Kit Kats, too. Um, I love the, like, Spongebob music all of a sudden. Did you ever watch Spongebob? I didn't recognize it. Yeah, okay. It's, like, not actually, but just, like, slide, like, guitar, so it just kind of sounds like it. Hmm, I don't know this one. Um, it looks like some kind of chocolate cracker that makes you go insane. There's, there's gotta be like a, a, an origin story and like a comic for this guy. I feel like there's usually like a story behind it. Yeah, I don't know these ones, but they look good. These are another favorite of mine. Um, also sort of the exact same kind of candy, like just solid chocolate with like a cracker in it, but they're shaped like little shrooms, which is super cute. Oh wow, what is it? It's so cool. This is really cool. I don't know what it is. It feels like popcorn, maybe? We might have to buy it just to find out what's inside. So we'll see. To be continued, we're just buying it purely because the bag is so cool. Crunky. <laughs> it's little John's favorite candy. Yeah, I don't know if that's like realistic depiction of the candy. Oh, maybe it's like a Pop Rocks thing. So like as you eat it, maybe like stuff starts exploding in your mouth. There's a cola flavor and a Ramune soda flavor. That looks kind of fun. I love like mini versions of things, hence the band name. So I'm intrigued by this. There's also a chocolate one. Yeah, let's get this one. I think they're, I honestly think they're probably gonna be like tiny Pringles, which is adorable. Maybe I can get it to be really, More candies. So, Botan rice candy. Uh, I grew up on these. These are super delicious. They're like gummy ish candies. I want to say they're kind of maybe strawberry flavored. But what's sort of fun about these is um, they're like individually wrapped in plastic, but then under the plastic, they're also individually wrapped in rice paper. So, uh, you know, as a kid, I would like prank my friends and just like throw it in my mouth and they think I'd be like eating plastic and like freaking out. Um, but it's rice paper, but super good. And they always come with like fun little stickers. Back in the day used to be tattoos, which is um, pretty fun, little temporary tattoos. But I think they come with stickers like on the side here. But these are super good. Okay, this is kind of cool. So yeah, I love this brand, Mintia. They don't have the flavor I love, but I I'm really interested in trying this because it says it's for sports. And so I don't know what that means, but maybe if I eat one, I'll like, get really athletic all of a sudden. So I'm gonna get that. I also like that it's made by Asahi, which is a beer company. So uh, they multitask. Well, we're getting close. I think if we can approximately judge how much we have, we maybe can get like two more items. So I'm gonna keep shopping, see what we find. I love that the example is Spam, that they're just like slicing up Spam. It's so like gnarly looking, but I actually kind of love Spam. I feel like because I grew up on it. It's so delicious. You fry that up with some eggs or like put that in the middle of like a little rice ball. The Spam used to be so good. So good. So beautiful. You should get some. This is freaking me out a little. Ew, I, I can't look at that. That's, that is very freaky. There's definitely just tons of nose hair. Ouch, dude. For men though. I have no idea what this is. but it's $360. Okay, I think I probably have $50 worth of stuff, so I think we could check out. We'll see 
we went over or if we stuck under the budget. Uh, but yeah, let's let's go see. Definitely lots of food in here. Just gonna, maybe I'll grab one of these coffees since we think we're under. I'll just get, I think I'm gonna get the Mr. Brown. He looks very promising. I trust him, so I'm gonna get this one. Okay, we're gonna pick this one up. Cause it's cute, cause it's small, cause it's mini. And uh, it's very on brand for me. So we'll get this one as well. Hello, come over here. Okay, thank you. So far it's at 13 bucks, 14. Oh no. Uh, okay, yeah. So we went over, but not by much. We hit like 63 bucks and it was the Hello Kitty sake that did it, so. If only I didn't get that, we would have been perfect. All right, we got a lot of stuff. Um, we're gonna go through and open some things and taste some things, uh, especially, I think this is what maybe we're most excited to try, because we just have no idea what it is. So a bunch of individually packaged things. I think this is like a little rice or like maybe mochi cracker kind of thing. I guess we'll see. Whoa, good crunch. That is super good. It's kind of plain, like kind of just a salty cracker treat, but it's really good. One for one. <laughs> I feel like I could crush multiple bags in one sitting because it's so light. I like it. Mystery solved. Oh yes, okay. This is the other thing I was really excited to open because I don't um, know exactly what they are, but because they look like miniature Pringles, I had to get them. Adorable. Yeah, it kind of like is a Pringle. Um, these ones are edamame flavored, so they definitely taste like edamame. They're super good. Let's get a drink next. Not the sake, not that wild. Oh yeah, let's do the little ramen because it has the marble. All right, it's been a minute. So basically, there's like a, if you can see it, the marble is up in the, in the like, cap section. Wow, this is harder than I remember. Woo! There we go. See it? Kind of fun. I, yeah, to this day, I don't know how to describe this flavor. I think it's, like, supposed to be bubble gum, maybe. All right, we're gonna try this one next. I think it's like a maybe, maybe a tangerine flavor, or maybe just an orange, but never had this before. Oh yeah, it's super pulpy. Interesting. That's really good. This has a lot of pulp in it, which makes me trust it, and it's really delicious. It tastes like it's good for me. I don't know that it is. Probably got a lot of sugar in it, but it tastes pretty good. I don't know what the 10% is. All right, DIY candy kit. So I think that involves um, putting it together. Wait, it's a mold. What's going on? This is a chocolate for the tree. I guess you have to melt it and then like pour it into these molds. Maybe that'll be for part two. I'll just like work on this at home and bring it back when I'm done. Sweet, well I think we did pretty good. Uh, thank you to Run For Cover for letting me splurge on some delicious treats. Um, we did go a little over, we spent 63 bucks, but um, I think we did pretty well. And uh, if you're ever in LA, uh, I would highly recommend finding your local, your local Marukai, or any Japanese market for that matter, and uh, trying some of this stuff out for yourself. So thanks for tuning in.